Welcome to Smart the Pod. The message is still stay safe from the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, wash your hand frequently. Avoid some public contact, spitting the public, sneezing openly. Be safe. You can see the information from WHO International for slash COVID-19. And so while we are in a partial lockdown, we just started our partial lockdown in River State, Nigeria today. We can check out some of the new developments in this new GCAM 7.3. Um, the interface, as you can see, there is no change in the more interface. Thank God. The configuration file still works and the restore still works very well. That was removed. The video section, there's still no you know visible change. Of course, there are some things in the advanced setting that I'm gonna show you. Make sure you enable the advanced setting first if you're using a parrot so that you can see all the advanced setting. There is some changes and some tweaks that even made the best get better. You can see that in the astrophotography menu right now you can now turn on and turn off astrophotography right from this menu it wasn't like that in the previous gcam 7.3 so other refinement that we can look at is the picture quality now one of the things that i noticed in the previous one is lack of details you know when you zoom in but i think they have really really refined that right now you can see the fin cooling fin in that ac uh it's so clear it's full of details and even much more than that you know the portrait a you know mode has also been refined so uh, first of all turn off the hdr because uh, it's already daylight here so you can turn it on if you're in the night and tweak it you can see your other video but one thing i wanted to notice in the portrait mode here is just the edge detection mind you gcam is using just a single camera sensor to do this portrait mode and on this particular device it is just beautiful just look at that ear area in the edge detection it's so beautiful so you can use this to capture some of the great moments why many of us are actually in lockdown and uh, great moments now if you go to indoors also i think this is a theme that's just gone through all of it there is a retention of details added details even indoors right you can see details now in indoors and a new surprise comes at hdr uh, so these are some of the new things the hdr just added a wide range i don't just know wide uh angle i don't know how he did that uh, this is just beautiful for people who need wider angle because this was way wider than the even preview this, so this is the image preview exactly what the image preview uh, was showing in the camera but when i snapped with the hdr plus it added a wider range into it so i think that's a beautiful thing and it also retained details with more light and it retained great details so um Oh, we're going to see the HDR plus enhance and let's see how that one goes also. So there is still even more light here. You can look at that handle right at that handle. You see now the center of that handle of the bag is dark in HDR plus as you can see right now. But with HDR enhance, there is even more light in it and it retained details. So this kind of underlining tone in this new GCAM 7.3 update, uh, GCAM from Parrot particularly that's the one we are talking on um we're going to go into the night side also and this is where i'm going to begin to show you the detail. shout out to paro 043 for this port these guys are doing this thing free with all these improvements uh let's go into the advanced setting those this is where the things start changing especially in the astrophotography auto uh correction exposure time you know i'm going to set it to four seconds but let me take you back to the former uh last port 7.3.018 by parrot where you go to the advanced setting you really have to come to the advanced setting to be able to turn off or turn on astrophotography and there is no even option for put it in auto you know in this one so but right now in this new update you just need to go into night site and pop out the menu you can see option to turn off the astrophotography put it in auto or turn it on straight there are still other option to look at you know auto wide balance settings auto and then timer focus and a lot more so right now we're going to go take pictures with uh, uh, astrophotography I'm going to explain to you remember in the previous spot uh, each exposure time one seconds means um, <laughs> 
three seconds but that has changed now so for four that we set it now now 28 which means each of them is seven so as uh, for that now we're going to also go take night sight and compare astrophotography and night sight of course i usually want to increase the exposure compensation for night sight to the highest which is 2.0 and i'm going to take the picture in night sight which took about six seconds and i'm going to compare it with night sight and auto uh, astrophotography so this astrophotography handheld for 28 seconds in the real time which is set to four seconds in the setting so this is the night sight as you can see the night sight is sharper because i could just hold it for you know six seconds without shaking my hands um but i'm going to go in and tweak the auto um astrophotography a little bit and then bring it down to like two seconds and then see whether there's an improvement on it so i'm going to take picture on astrophotography and you see now two seconds is 14 seconds so that confirms that uh, each exposure time setting now a second is now seven seconds in real time so this is it now i have to keep it up on, on top of the car to make sure my hand doesn't change shake and this is becoming beautiful so 14 seconds this is the 28 seconds handheld which is blocked and that's another thing i'm still going to bring it down to one second because in my previous video you can check it in the cards or link in the description where i use uh the lowest uh this is seven seconds in that one it was about uh four seconds or two seconds i can't remember and i compared it with night side and it was so good so that is uh the astrophotography right now i'm going to compare it against night side so this is going to be seven seconds against six seconds so let's see this is the night side i kept all of them on top of the car to give me the sharp picture this is the night sight and this is the seven seconds of the photography that's a little you know you know light on this one but the difference is not much so you can always know how to use your astrophotography on night sight to get the best picture so that will be it for today in this new updates just subscribe there will be more and more updates coming i'll see you stay safe <laughs>